I bomb. It is Utopia season. Travis dropped the long-awaited Utopia, and it didn't disappoint. The production on the album is crazy. The production credits for the album is insane. I've seen a few people putting up Utopia tutorials, and I feel like they're kind of just missing the whole vibe of the album. When you're trying to make a beat for Utopia, you're not just making a beat. You're trying to make a whole experience, and that's what we're going to try to capture today. Let me know in the comments your opinion on Utopia. Let's just get into this. Things we're going to focus on today, capturing a dark, synthy atmosphere. Two, using live drums, and three, being able to create switch-ups in your melodies, because that was quite a persistent theme trip. Utopia. So first thing, we're on 132 BPM and we want to come into analog labs. And we're taking this kind of dark synthy key kind of. I think this is gonna be pretty nice. We're in G sharp minor, so we're gonna start with the G sharp minor chord. But we're gonna push our root note down and we're also gonna duplicate this B note and push it up top as well, just making our chord a little bit more full. You know what? We can probably push the full thing down an octave. There we go. Now after this, we're going to switch chord. We're going to come to a C sharp chord. Once again, we're going to push the C sharp down. We're actually going to push the E up and then also duplicate the G and push that up also. Small stab at the end of them. And this is basically going to be our chord progression for the entire beat. Next, we want to try layer this sound. Once again, we're coming back into Analog Labs. I think Analog Labs has some great sounds to capture this kind of utopia feel. We're layering in the same chord progression. Except we are throwing this big boy mixer chain on it. The most noticeable effect being Portal and a bunch of EQs. We're layering one more sound for Analog Labs. I kind of feel like I want some kind of high-pitched plucks at the like start of some of the bars. But once again, we're coming back into Analog Labs. We're actually using the third beat uh, magnet for this. Now we can probably just layer that back across. To it, the most noticeable thing again is this half time at fifty percent. Kind of just makes it a little bit more dark. I kind of want some fast paced arp. Probably follow the chord there. That sounds fucked. Now here's some real sauce. Once again, we're throwing the portal preset onto this ARP, which makes it sound like this. We're gonna render this out. We're gonna add a bit of stereo separation to it. Now we simply just wanna take that portal effect back off. Now we have this crazy portal effect in the background and still have our main melody. Melodies are sounding pretty nice at the minute. I kind of want to get some sort of live drums on here because there was quite a lot of live drum samples on Utopia. So yeah, you literally just need to throw down some sort of drum loop and hope it fits. missing one key component which is actually a respace and now last thing you need to think about is the arrangement and obviously there is a lot of thought put into the arrangement on these beats like i said it's not really just a beat it's a whole experience so we are going to need some variations switch ups all of that so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to drag certain elements of the melody out and i'm going to render them together once rendered i'm going to click reverse and render one more time after that you simply want to come into edison you want to abuse the blur button and you just want to drag your sample out of edison and we now have an intro that sounds like this
the intro, we're going to have our pads play with a stretched out drum loop. Kind of at a break in this beat, we're using the effect of breaths. And then we need some sort of bridge section over here. I think we're going to reverse this arc. Right, strap yourself in, listen to this in full, because I can't lie, this is a bit of an experience. this for this part coming out into a bit of a bridgey section Be, I would appreciate a like on the video, man. Apart from that, run me up on Instagram and Twitch because they're the only two things I care about. I'm out. Good luck to you later. Bow.